That's all I got. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Georgi Mavi. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today, uh, I mean, unfortunately, uh, well, this video is about Mick Goodrick. A legendary, legendary jazz guitar player, musician, has passed away. 77 years old, I believe. And, um, you know, it's a bummer. You know, I, I think a lot of people, if they watch my channel, my videos, my style, the way I play, they probably wouldn't think that this, um, you know, Mick Goodrick, a just savant jazz fusion guitar player has any influence on me because of all the styles I play, but he has maybe the most influence on me in, in, in certain ways. You know, I obviously, I pull from a lot of different places, but you know, he, he, he lived, he, he was a jazz, very, very successful jazz musician, but uh, for me, it was his his teaching, the way all the books he's written. You know, I, I have a book here, Creative Chordal Harmony for Guitar, Mick Goodrick and Tim Miller. By the way, both of them on the cover with headless guitars. Shout out. One of the biggest reasons why I gravitated towards Mick Goodrick so much was just his style of teaching and the way he deconstructed concepts. He, he has a bunch of concepts, like this book, Generic Modality Compression. Um, a lot of his stuff is very dense and it, it, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's tough to get through. But as a guitar player, musician, once you kind of uncover, unfold a sliver of a Mick Goodrick concept, you know, your head just explodes and, and you feel like you've leveled up 10 times as a, as a musician, as a guitar player, as a musician not just a guitar player, but as a musician. Just the way music can be seen and heard and performed. You know, he had a lot of different concepts. Now, now, me here, uh, very, very loosely, very like not, um, like I said, his, his, his concepts are, you know, very, f for me, I'm still, I'm, I'm still working on it. I'm still a white belt. Um, you know, I have a long way to go. It's, it's a lifelong journey to understand his concepts, but it's just beautiful. And I, 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 I the way he interprets things and the way he, he just talks about things, I just, I don't know why I relate to it so much because sometimes I feel like I can be a little cerebral with the way I think about music, you know? And I know there's this whole argument about theory or no theory. It's about the feeling, the theory takes away from the music. I get that, but I'm a dork, I'm a nerd. I love music theory. I love breaking things down. I love extrapolating chords and ideas and concepts, understanding how they work, why they work, the way they work, you know? It, it doesn't even have to be like theory. That's what we call it because it, it, it is what it is, but it's like, just, just give me some cool sounding chords and then tell me about it. And then let me like process that and figure out what exactly is going on. That's the kind of stuff that I like. That's the spice that I'm after. You see in my videos, I talk about the spice. You know, I always like to play spicy chords. Mick Goodrick, right? That's 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 a lot of my influence. It's just like taking something and just 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 making it sound different, right? And and, and making it work. And the way you make it work is you have to commit to it. You have to really just just go in head first, and you got to be like, yes. This is what I'm doing. This is the thing. That's 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 what's happening. A lot of like his playing and his styles and his teachings is is about that. It's about just like 
we're gonna just like take away the root note and we're gonna take away these notes and we're just gonna play around with this and we're gonna have like two triads in this concept and 10 different chord variations and I'm gonna write it all out for you and I'm gonna share it with you and show it with you and how this can work. I love it. I, I'm uh, big, big influence. Like if you look over there, which you can't, but like I'm, like I said, I'm a dork for method books. I have over there just a bookshelf of all sorts of different things, jazz fusion, swing, bebop, classical guitar, uh, Joe Satriani, like whatever, like it's all there and even, even here, like this, yeah. But this is the one I always keep here because if I'm just working on something, right, if I'm making some kind of music, I wanna grab that and just flip through a couple pages and just try to see if I could find some kind of nugget to use. And it's not maybe something that I wanna like use verbatim, maybe it is, but a lot of times it's just like another way to view something. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a bummer. If, if you're not familiar with him, go check him out, please. Um, he has so many videos on YouTube with cl the clinics and his, his ideas and everything like that. The guy was a genius. Be surely missed. Um, rest in peace, Mick Goodrick. Thank you for everything you have given to this world. And in, in, in just, in just, thank you. And yeah, it sucks. But um, yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave me a comment. Let me know I had to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. That's going to do it, guys. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. How do you end a video like this? I don't know.